what is popping you guys i am back with another video like i never left exposing my flaws to you guys once again i'm not beat today i'm not slayed today but that's okay i'm here to talk to y'all about what not to do when you get to paul quinn if you are new to my channel welcome if you not sit through this video anyways so if you have been following me you guys know that i made a video a few weeks ago on how to survive college and i definitely mentioned paul quinn obviously because i go there but i wasn't very specific so today is going to be very specific i'm just going to be giving you guys a little advice about what not to do when you get here and hopefully you survive through it let's get into this first order of business do not get to the school act like you're too good for things i say this for many different reasons but the main reason why i say this is because paul quinn is a very small school if you have not realized it yet if you have not done your research and realized that this is a very small campus you are in for a rude awakening and i say this to say that student body is everything therefore if you get here and act like you don't want to participate in anything everybody is going to act like that meaning that the whole campus is going to be lame this whole entire experience is what you make it so if you don't show up there's not going to be anything to show up to your entire college career is basically going to be you meeting new people and you facing things that you never have faced before so do not stay in your comfort zone because it's a not going to get you nowhere B, it's not going to allow you to meet new people. And C, you're never going to find those new experiences. And you're never going to make memories that you want to take with you. And that's what college is about, having fun. So if you don't make any memories, it's not really worth going to a four-year school. You get the point? Yes, fun is essential when you get to college. But second order of business, do not put partying over your education. This probably should have been number one, but I'm making it number two because, hey, if you manage to do a bunch of partying and a bunch of going out every single weekend and you still come out with good grades, passing, 4.0, 3.0, whatever, kudos to you. I know for a fact that you guys are tired of hearing this, but I swear to God, like, you don't understand how important it is until you actually go through it. You don't understand how easy it is to fall off and to just forget why you even there. Just a general note. Like any other school, if you decide to start failing, then you're gonna be forced to drop those classes unless you do, unless you want it to go on your transcript, which I'm pretty sure you don't. But if you decide to start failing and you start dropping those classes, then you're not gonna get enough credits, which, mean, which means you're gonna fall behind unless you're gonna spend all that time or all your summers dedicating your time to taking summer classes, which I'm pretty sure nobody wants to do. Just stay on it while you're there. It's not that hard. Number three is always a charm, but do not, I repeat, do not think it's okay to be roommates with somebody that you're tight with from high school. You are a completely different person that you are in high school than what you will become in college. And y'all think that y'all are in this bubble and nobody's gonna break in, sweetheart, you're in for a rude awakening. And like I always say, you grown, nobody is forcing you to do anything at this point. Therefore, you and your friend need to give each other that time that you guys need to grow. Like, you guys need to grow. And sometimes you grow apart, but if the friendship was ever real, you always going to stay like this. If you have not been in a living situation with this person before, then the choices that you make from the moment you move in with each other, from the time that you move out from each other, is definitely something that will affect your friendship. This next piece of advice is definitely going to sound kind of rhetorical, especially if you don't know what social probation is. Just basically something that prohibits you from doing anything social. And when I say social, I mean basketball games, events, like just nothing. Like the only thing that you will probably be allowed to go to, and when I say allowed, I mean required, is chapel and town hall meetings and voices that matter. That's about it. You're welcome. Things that will get you put on social probation. Anything that you're not supposed to do. But on the other hand, if your goal is to get in trouble, here is how you can achieve that. Drinking, drinking in the dorms, smelling high, looking high in the dorms, failing the drug test, fighting, attempting to fight, being loud in the dorms, or staying in the dorms when you don't live in the dorms. Now, if you're anybody who doesn't have anything to lose, then cool. I still don't suggest you doing anything that I just named simply because 
it's just not fun having your name in the mix of being in trouble but if you have something to lose like if you're an athlete if you decide that you want to cheer or if you dance or play basketball or volleyball or soccer social probation is definitely something that you want to stay away from because if you love those things you're not going to be able to do those things simple so you think this is not a big deal but it is a very big deal do not not go to work if you live in the dorms of paul quinn you are definitely going to be required to work you working is basically just taking money off of your tuition so for the most part you're just giving money back to the school whenever you complete work hours but if you don't go to work then i can imagine how much money you're gonna owe the school back so it's either you're gonna pay the money or you're gonna get kicked out of the dorms but to be honest i think it's both not really sure don't take my word for it but if you want to avoid both boom just go to work working on campus is not hard at all it's definitely gonna be a part of like things that you do in your everyday life don't think that it's some type of complicated position that they will interview for literally they're just assigning you to go and do things around the campus that really they can hire people to do like they can hire people to do it but they just don't i don't know if it's specifically because they want to help us or if they just want to put us to work and save money this is one of the ways that you can meet people around campus you're meeting more students because obviously you're working with students um this is definitely a way for you to get to know more staff if you're one of those people who are just shy and don't really like walk up to administrators around the campus and then ask them who they are or try to get to know them or ask them if there's anything that they can help you with this is definitely one of those moments to take advantage of also it's one way to get involved on campus um if you're working with somebody who has anything to do with any of the events then definitely take advantage because you can have a say so in what happens around campus so yeah it's definitely a way for you to get social last thing do not get sloppy drunk at parties and i save this for last because it's my favorite it's my favorite because i have experience don't get sloppy drunk at parties to the point where you cannot take care of yourself and if you ever plan on getting that messed up at a party know your surroundings have people around you that you trust somebody who can take care of you do not drive to parties that you plan on getting sloppy drunk and just stay safe no no like never 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 if you feel like you're that irresponsible of a person to do something that you're drunk that you're a gonna regret a that you're gonna regret b that you're not gonna remember just don't even drink it is fun being drunk but it's also a responsibility to take care of yourself when you do decide to get in that state of being drunk that's it i can't give y'all no more tips because i'm still experiencing them myself and i'm still learning myself but i'm glad that you guys chose to watch this video and i feel like in a way that you guys are kind of going on my college journey with me because i just been talking about everything that i have been learning and everything that i have observed so if you like this video boop stick around and subscribe you should get paid just to talk about the kid you should get a raise when you capping with your friends i know that i'm